Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and Action Movie Night. Tonight, I will be reviewing Nighthawks, released in 1981. Nighthawks stars Sylvester Stallone, Billy D. Williams, Lindsay Wagner, Paris Combreda, Nigel Davenport, Rutger Hauer, Hilary Thompson, Joe Spinell, Walter Matthews, and Catherine Mary Stewart. Nighthawks is directed by Bruce Malmuth from a screenplay by David Shaper. Now, this one, it's a very interesting um, Sylvester Stallone film. Number one, because um, he seems to be taking um, the look for his sergeant, Deke Da Silva, um, from the look of Al Pacino in Serpico, which was like a good um, 10 years before this film. Um, so I don't know why it took him that long to want to, hey, I want to do a character that looks like this, you know. And I don't know if it was really an inspiration that he just, you know, that Stallone decided, you know, hey, I want to do a character that looks like um, Al Pacino's Serpico. Um, but it's pretty apparent that he, you know, this character is definitely um, kind of modeled um beard, hair, um, overall dress and style on Serpico. Um, and then you also have the great um, casting of his partner, Sergeant Matthew Fox, played by Billy D. Williams. Now this was a good 10 years after Billy D. Williams made his Badass debut in Brian's song, playing Gail Sayers alongside James Caan. And it was only a year after he starred in The Empire Strikes Back as Lando Calrissian. So he was riding on a pretty good high at this point, so... Getting Stallone and Billy Dee Williams together was a really cool coup for this film. Shut up my ass, just tell me how much money. I want you to pay for every life you wasted on this shit, motherfucker! Um, then you have the amazing Lindsay Wagner playing De Silva's wife, Irene. And what can I say about this girl? I mean, I always loved the Six Million Dollar Man and the Bionic Woman. And I loved the little episodes where they would work together. I loved the TV movies they did later where they reteamed and everything. I mean, Lizzie Wagner was the shit. She was awesome back in the day. And uh, I just love her. Um, so seeing her working alongside freaking Billy D. Williams and Sylvester Stallone was just something else, you know. Um, and then you have Rutger Hauer playing your main villain as Wolfgar. And this was his American film debut. And what an amazing debut it was. He is such a chilling, kick-ass villain playing Wolfgar in this. He is just awesome in this film. Um, and the scenes where he gets to work off of talking to um, De Silva and taunting him, and everything, they're just so well put together and well done. Um, amazing. Nigel Davenport plays Inspector Peter Hartman, and he's pretty damn good in this, too. He doesn't get as much screen time as a lot of the other characters, but it's Nigel Davenport. He is a very, very good um, 
classically trained actor, and it just shows in this fi in this film here. Um, and then you have Joe Spinell, and he is. Uh, <laughs> it is cool seeing him in this playing a really good guy. He's actually working with um, De Silva and Fox. Cooperate with a special federal state unit, and we will. Now you and Fox have been assigned to an attack group. Come on, terrorism is hijackers or hostages. That's FBI stuff. What the hell they want with us? I don't know. Your military records had something to do with it. Probably the weakest performance in this movie, and it's not a bad performance, it's just compared to Sylvester Stallone, Billy Dee Williams, Lindsay Wagner, Rutger Hauer, Nigel Davenport, it just, you have to bring your A-game in here. And that's uh, Varsus Kembeda as um, Shaka Holland, the accomplice to Wolfgar. Um, and it doesn't help her that she is acting in scenes with a amazing Rutger Hauer who is totally in the zone playing this villain. Um, so she just comes off as completely lackluster in comparison to him. Um, um, prior to this film, her big claim to fame was um, playing in Star Trek The Motion Picture. And unfortunately, that movie was not well received. So it wasn't like she was a big star coming into this film. Um, one of the bigger surprises in this film that nobody ever talks about when they talk about this film is Catherine Mary Stewart playing the sales girl in London. And uh, she, I've always loved um, Catherine Mary Stewart, and uh, she plays a really small role here. She she only gets one scene. But she's very memorable, and she's very good in this. Certainly. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. All right. <laughs> you really are very pretty. Well, thank you. <laughs> I almost wish they had cast Catherine Mary Stewart in the role and I know she's an American, but they could have made it where she, his accomplice is an American girl instead of going with the whole uh, Shaka Holland character. Um, but uh, yeah, um, this was, I, be, I believe this might have been um, Catherine Mary Stewart's movie debut, um, but You know, when, when you are making your movie debut alongside the American debut of Rutger Hauer, who steals the freaking movie, your little debut is not going to be as remembered as Rutger's. So, unfortunately, no, not many people even think about her when they think about this movie. But uh, I'll always remember that scene when she made her appearance in this. But this film just has really, I mean, Bruce Malmuth shoots some really good action sequences in here. The suspense and the tension throughout this film, well done, well done film. Um, this is not just a straight brainless action film. It is well put together, well done, tension-filled scenes that really impact anyone watching it. Um, there's not really much bad I can say about this film. Um, so I am going to give in my final review for Nighthawks, 1981. I am going to give this film a... 9.6 out of 10. This is, in my opinion, one of Sylvester Stallone's most underrated films that doesn't get enough attention. And I hope my review can help change that. I hope that more people will search out this film and find it, because this is a great hidden gem. It is one 
phenomenally acted, well-directed film. So, have you seen Nighthawks? If you have, let me know in the comments down below what did you think. Do you agree with my review? Do you disagree? Let me know. And, as usual, if you like this video, do not forget to smash that like, share, and subscribe button because it really does help this channel out a lot. Anyway, hope you will join me tomorrow for video game night. Until then, thank you for watching.